If your scalp has hampered your protective style's longevity, I have a game-changing strategy that is going to transform your two-week protective style to potentially two months. Hello, my marvelous Coily companions, and to all the newcomers who are here for the first time. My name is Charnel, and you're watching The Coily Code. Now, let's talk about our scalp. I'm sure many of you share this common struggle. You install a protective style, hoping it can at least get you through a month. But lo and behold, within two weeks, and for some of us like myself, within three days, <laughs> you're already fighting an itchy scalp. I used to get so frustrated watching some of my favorite YouTubers able to pull off a protective style for three months, four months, some even half a year. In my previous protective styling cycles, I had only been able to wear my protective style for two weeks. Sometimes I will have to take it out even sooner than that because I had a scalp that flaked itched, was irritated very easily, and seemed to hate any type of product being placed on it. I never ever suffered with the type of issues that I've had now as a, an, an adult, and maybe that's due to the aging process, I don't know. So I'm gonna share with you guys the things that has worked for me, that has not only eliminated flaking, but my scalp has yet to itch like crazy, and I'm already two months in to my mini braid protective style. Let's get into it. First thing you want to prioritize is an intense protein treatment. I have been doing protein treatments off and on like last year, but really leaving it alone because, oh, how the community had put so much fear in the hearts and lives of black women all over to avoid protein at all costs, but, balance you guys right why protein you ask well protein fortifies the follicles and making them more resilient to external damage within the last year i realized that i have been doing everything right i decided i'm going to start treating my hair with a protein treatment i started off very mild because i you know again the fear <laughs> but i knew that my hair needed the structure and the strength to endure a more than two week protective hairstyle and so i discovered one here on youtube by c and aze i'll have their youtube video down below but that has been the protein treatment i've stuck with for the last four cycles and oh my gosh my hair is not only stronger and very little breakage but my scalp has also improved because of that as well so I do this protein treatment every time I wash my hair because I'm able to stretch my wash days like every two months now so I'm not overloading my hair with protein because I'm only washing my hair every two months <laughs> and test it out for yourself when I first started with C and Aze's protein treatment, I only left it on for 30 min uh, 20 minutes actually, because I was like, okay. But once I realized that my hair loved this protein treatment, I was like, girl, we're keeping you on for an hour. <laughs> and so an hour has been my sweet spot and I love it. Next up, you want to clarify your hair with a clarifying shampoo or a shampoo that is catered to your scalp. And I went for the latter because as one who struggled with flaky scalp, itchy scalp, all kinds of conditions and a very sensitive scalp, couldn't even put product on my scalp. I needed, I wanted something that had scalp remedies as its benefit. Now you longtime subbies already know this, but if you don't, I did a review on this duo not too long ago, and it is the Royal Oils line from Head & Shoulders, both the shampoo and the conditioner. And I would suggest doing the conditioner as well, because the conditioner, they said that you could apply it to your scalp as well. I don't know what these two products did to my scalp, but by my third use, my scalp problems were pretty much subsiding. So I will say that I did not go into my mini braid style until August 10th, and I used these a few times before my long-term mini braid challenge. So I will say before you install that long-term protective style that you wanna keep in longer than two months, give your shampoo or at least the scalp 
type shampoo, give it at least three wash days before you go into that long term. It doesn't have to be this one per se, but I love it because I've used the Head & Shoulders standard dandruff shampoo a while ago, but it is very drying. But when I realized they came out with a line for textured hair where it's not as drying, I, I went for it. And so it has been a game changer for me. Do that at least three times before you get going in your long term because these shampoos require frequent use before you start seeing results. And so if you don't give it a chance, then you you may wash it one time, try to do a three month long hairstyle and then, you know, find flaking and you're gonna think like, Chanel was lying to us. So <laughs> they'll give it a chance to work and all will be well. Still in the shampoo mix, I have a mineral or a hard water shampoo. So the hard water shampoo I have is from the brand Malibu and it's a hard water wellness shampoo. It does have a conditioner as well, but I didn't need the conditioner. But mineral deposits from hard water can definitely irritate the scalp and exacerbate any pre-existing or current existing scalp problems. I know it sounds like a lot of shampoo, but just think your hair is not gonna touch a shampoo for about three months and four months if you're being really ambitious. But I washed my hair with the hard water shampoo first about one time and then I went in with the Royal Oils shampoo. And I, again, I did this for three wash days before installing my mini braids. Hard water can be very damaging, not only to the scalp, but the hair strands as well. So it's good to do if you're not sure. I'm not 100% sure if I have hard water here, but do your due diligence and experimenting with what's working. But I know for me, these two shampoos plus the Royal Oils Conditioner have done a good deal of improvement on my scalp. Moving forward, you wanna do a good deep conditioning, but I will warn you not to apply that deep conditioner to your scalp. I don't want the deep conditioner, which is a much heavier intense conditioner on the scalp because it will most likely leave deposits of itself on your scalp and just think you're not gonna shampoo your hair after you deep condition. So whatever is not stripped completely from just your water is gonna remain on the scalp. And that could be producing the itchiness that you get maybe three days after your wash day. And speaking of conditioner, do not apply leave-in conditioner to your scalp either. Part of being able to take your protective styles a lot longer than you're used to is by keeping the scalp as free of product as possible. Because if your scalp doesn't have product, it's gonna be fine. So unless you're dealing with dryness, now if you're dealing with dryness, that could be another issue, but the Royal Oils Conditioner actually addresses dryness as well on the scalp. As long as your scalp is clean for the first two weeks, you more than likely can extend your protective style longer than two weeks. Now that we're done with the prep work for getting to the protective style, now you've installed your protective style, whatever that is, mini braids, mini twists, braids, twists, when your scalp starts to speak to you, it is time for what I call the magical scalp serum. It is the Sulfur 8 Scalp Therapy Medicated Leave-In Soothing Treatment. It relieves itchy scalp and reduces any excess sebum that builds up on the scalp and that will actually produce itching because for us with the more textured hair, sebum doesn't easily travel down our hair shafts as those with straight hair. So it just builds up on the scalp and that's what causes the sebum is meant to go down the rest of your hair. It should not be just stuck on your scalp and that I think is what produces a lot of the itching that we may feel. but. This removes any excess sebum or excess oil from your scalp. And again, it has a cooling sensation that relieves itching. Now, when I first started using this, I only had to go in about three times a week, but I have not used this for, I would say, maybe it's been three weeks, maybe, but it is a lifesaver. If you don't want to deal with everything I just talked about in this video, just get this. This is all you need. And it literally says, use for relief of scalp itching, irritation, redness, scaling, and flaking associated with dandruff, seborrheic dermatitis, and psoriasis. So this has been, I can't even explain it. <laughs> My sister loves it, I love it, and I have not seen a flake on my scalp for two months, you guys. Two months. Two months. Oh my gosh. 
My next tip includes dry shampoo. Now, if you don't know, Bath & Body Works has hair care now. So I haven't tried their conditioner or shampoo yet, but when I saw that they had champagne toast in a dry shampoo formula, I copped it so quick because champagne toast is my scent at Bath & Body Works. It is very mild, keeps my scalp all the way together and it smells amazing. But if you have a fragrance sensitivity, completely skip to the next thing because <laughs> I, I don't, definitely don't want you to irritate your scalp any more than it does when it fragrances on it. But initially within the first month of my mini braids, I use this once a week. All you do is spray it from about like 15 inches or 30, 30 inches would be too far, too, like 15 inches. And you leave it on for 30 seconds, just let it sit. And then you just kind of go through and shake, 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 shake. And you're done and your scalp is pretty much not a hundred percent clean but it will do the job until your next wash day now this last product i'm going to share with you i just recently started using if you guys don't know simply chef here on youtube she does these mini braid challenges and that's who i've been doing it with but she has a playlist on virgin hair fertilizer and so i started using this I would say, oh gosh, maybe three weeks ago. It has not triggered my scalp at all. And it does have some really good ingredients for your scalp. It says you can use it on your scalp, so it is formulated to go on the scalp. I have not been using it religiously. I'll just apply it when I feel like it. I'm really going off a of feeling at this point. I cannot guarantee, I wish I could, that all of these things are gonna work for you watching with scalp problems. If you have been diagnosed with it, I'm sorry, I'm not, a, I'm not, I don't suggest that you try any of these things. It may not do well, or at least consult with your dermatologist or whoever diagnosed the condition to see if you are able to use some of the products that I mentioned. But for a previous two week protective styler like myself, these steps were revolutionary for length retention. So following these tips may make your protective styles last longer for you, but that's just the beginning. You truly give your scalp and hair the royal treatment they deserve. I've got the perfect natural hair care routine to go hand in hand with our scalp care tips. In my previously uploaded video, I've shared the simplest and most straightforward natural hair routine, specifically designed for those desiring simplicity in their hair care routine while still rocking your natural hair with confidence. This transformative hair care routine is key to maintaining those beautiful protective styles that you worked so hard on. Don't forget to share your thoughts or any scalp tips that you have found effective in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you over at this video here. Have a good one. Bye.